seated here are members of the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, led by its Associate Vice President, Dr. Donald Brown. They are here on a working visit to the state and to meet with government on issues bordering on their project already running in the state. The most important issue for me today is to get out and visit the projects and really see what is happening on the ground and then hopefully maybe later this evening we will have a chance to be able to reflect on some of these and deepen our conversation. The Deputy Governor wants him to note that government is ever ready to leverage this opportunity for the benefit of the state and people. Some countries in uh, southern Africa live by exporting flying flowers to Europe and America every day. We have better climate for those flowers. So there's a whole lot we can do. Of course, you can't be worried about labor here. So I'm happy you've indicated a, a more uh, detailed and robust conversation around these headings. And in the conversation as a state, we are happy to take forward with you. After this meeting, the delegation moves to Anemri local government area to inspect the IFAD project cited there to assist rural and smallholder farmers who are the main producers of staple foods. After their inspection, the women who are the major farmers share their experiences since this intervention for dry season farming. I'm very glad to receive them, to have them around the women of Enugu State. They have done so far. They have touched the life of women in Enugu State. The IFAD leader expresses satisfaction with the impute as the state commissioner for agriculture pledges that government is ever ready to pay counterpart funds to push the program across the 17 local government areas of the state. Yeah, I'm very pleased to see dry season farming is very profitable for the women's groups and they get a better price than wet season farming. And especially when the president is declaring a food emergency, it is important that we are producing more food. Our governor has given us a mandate that annually we produce nothing less than one million metric tons of rice. And that's why we're aggressive in supporting our smallholder farmers. So we also say that whatever that is needed for the state to do in terms of counterpart funding for new projects, new programs, that the state is ready and willing to ad adapt to that and to provide a counterpart funding. As the farmers reap the benefits of this first intervention, they want IFAD to create more aggregation centers around farm cluster for production, preservation, that would minimize post-harvest challenges.